who I am going to need more from. I'm really going to ask a lot from this guy. Just, just do more than just wear the shirt, bro. Yeah, just do more than just be a number on the field. That's all we're asking. Another final means another opportunity for us to win a trophy. A trophy we have not won yet here at AS Roma. We face Juve in the Super Cup final. Of course, the winners of Serie A meeting the winners of the Coppa Italia in the Super Cup. And who will lift the trophy? We are about to find out. Welcome to the FIFA 23 AS Roma career mode. Today is a final. Thank you all for joining and us. And it's we'll going to be a good event. one. A trophy is on the line. And you know, we love trophies. Yeah, We like seeing armpits in the air, bro. Yeah, Seeing silverware, making history. Because it's just undisputed. You cannot question trophies. You cannot question success. This is the measurement of success. Yes, the Super Cup. Some may see it as like a charity cup, bro. Yeah, that it's not that relevant, especially in other countries. But in Italy, it's a pretty big deal. That's why it's played in the middle of the season, not in the beginning of the season where the players are still tired, bro. We need to go full in and get this trophy. We're facing Juve, who we faced a couple of episodes ago, and we beat away from home. They'll definitely be looking to set the score straight. And more often than not, the team that wins the league normally wins the Super Cup. So they will be favorites. But let's see if we can add another trophy to the cabinet. Okay, guys, yeah. Marcel, can now. you continue this great spell at Roma? We're about to find out, bro. It's definitely going to be difficult, that's for sure. And there are the Dons that we will be facing. We tried to make some rotations in the last game against Fiorentina. But unfortunately, there's still a lot of fatigue in the squad. I believe the Fiorentina game was only two days ago. So uh, a lot of fixture congestion. So we're going to need the whole squad. We're playing some players that are not fully fit. And we have to bench some players. You can see there, Belotti will be leading the line today. Abraham... It's just not fit enough, bro. He's just not fit enough. He is on the bench. And so is Paulo Dybala. So two of our best players, but definitely our best attackers, aren't even in starting the final. But the season is long, and this is where you need your full squad. Unfortunately, our squad is very thin, especially with injuries and stuff. But it's fine. That's the lineup that we will be facing. The team will be facing Juve. Quality all around. The current champions of Italy. They've had a very slow start in the league. But they're still up there, bro. So we're expecting them to still be in contention. Patricio will come back in for Mamad Ashvili. He had his debut last time. Didi will keep his position, though, in the double pivot because, of course, Cristante is injured. We're going to go with Zaniolo and Fratesi as the two number 10s. And they'll be playing behind Andrea Belotti. Who I am going to need more from. I'm really going to ask a lot from this guy. Just, just do more than just wear the shirt, bro. Yeah, Just do more than just be a number on the field. That's all we're asking. You don't have to go out and score a hat-trick. But at least be a threat. Yeah, Abraham is on the bench. And with due course, he'll definitely come on. But Belotti should definitely offer us a bit more. The lineup obviously does worry me. It really does. But we're going to need the whole squad, like I said. The season is long. Everybody's going to have to contribute. We can't have the same 11 contributing every time because that's when injuries come into play. That's when you risk certain players. And that's never a good thing there. But Zalewski definitely should be doing better. But Badiashil steps in there to cover for him. He may have to do that quite a few times today. Because as we know, Zalewski offers very little defensively. But here's Zaniolo driving forward. Who probably on the field is our most dangerous player right now. Without Dybala and without Abraham. Shot there from Fratesi. And you can see why he's our most dangerous player. Because that's what the other Dons are offering. Not much. Bayer Leverkusen spending a lot of money there on Mikel Marino. I mean, 
Fair play to them. The transfer window is, of course, open. And if ever an opportunity arises for us to do something, we'll definitely do it. But for now, we're focusing on the field and trying to press Juve very high here. We like to do this early on in the game just to test the waters and see if they can play through our press. And they could not there. They could not do it there. Ten minutes gone. It's Kovacic to Zalewski, back to Mateo Kovacic. Skipping away from his man, finding space, takes on the shot and tests the goalkeeper. Good play. Press effective and leading to a chance. Kovacic will take the corner, obviously in the absence of Dybala. No Ziyech, no Cristante. But no complaints. Because we're doing well so far here, Zaniolo. Looking to stand up his man, but Pavard there just read it. And looks to take Juve up the field. Good tackle again from Kovacic. Belotti. Come on, Belotti. Ball down the line to Kulusevski. Zalewski should be doing better there. Here's Dusan Vlahovic. He may be in behind here. Oh, but Roger Ipanez with the recovery and getting the ball back. Sandro looking for the ball in behind towards Chiesa. He will fight him and cut it all the way across. And the save from Patricio. Our keeper being tested for the first time here. But he was on job. Corner to Juve. Just stepping it up. Chiesa. Oh, just absolutely doing Zalewski at the near post. But Spinazzola has to clear that. Zaniolo has picked up a knock. Not great. Oh, Pogba. The feet from Pogba just to open up the space there to find Kulusevski. Holding off Zalewski. Oh, that's going to be a terrible sight, bro. Good block again by Roger and cleared eventually by Mancini. Well, there to Pogba again. Juve definitely taking control of this game. A period of us to show character. And to keep our heads and to stay focused. And they're just running through. But Benoit Badiashil recovers. Currently playing on the right side right now. Because we are all over the place, lads. Bloody hell, look at that touch. Fortunately, I have to say it's a foul for us. It is a foul, but... Yeah, that first touch was fucking dangerous, bro. <laughs> Yellow card to Vlahovic. Let's regain control of the game. Here's Kovacic. Playing in Zaniolo, who's currently playing on for now, but I think I may have to take him off. You can see even the ball control there has slightly gone. Ball in behind. Defense has fallen asleep. And Vlahovic will make no mistake. And put Juve in front in the final. Deadly in front of goal as always Dusan Vlahovic. <sighs> Let's make some changes. Let's make some changes. Zaniolo will have to come off bro. You can see Abraham's not fully fit. You can see Dybala's not fully fit. We'll actually bring on Kamara and push Kovacic further up top. And swap in Didi and Kamara around. Now, who can he play it to? Let's just stay in the game, lads. Our attack is not the best at the moment, but... Zan oh, that's a very good shot there! Oh, we gotta go back, lads! <laughs> Pretty much out of nothing. Fratesi just taking on the shot from a very tight angle. Keeper making the save, palms it back into the path of Mateo Kovacic, who was ready to pounce, and just after moving further up the field... That's yeah, a goal back for us. Our attack is not great, bro. No Abraham, no Zaniolo, no Dybala. Definitely, undisputedly, our three best attackers. But we have more shots than Juve. And we're level with them. Oh, my days. Zalewski now is injured. Oh, lads. He's not the best of defenders fully fit, bro. <laughs> Being injured and against Kulisevsky, it's going to be a long day for him. He's definitely going to have to come off. We're almost at half time though. Oh my days. Now Roger has stayed down. Lads! What's going on? Well, that's going to be all for the first half here at the San <sighs> Half time. 
dropped 1-1 at the San Siro. Two more injuries. Zalewski injured and booked. We're going to bring on Celik and swap him around with Spinazzola, bro. Roger, I'm sorry. You're going to have to just carry on, bro. You're going to have to see it out. We're also going to bring on Abraham for Balotti, who again has offered nothing going forward. This is a bit of a risk to keep playing Ibanez, but... Bro, we're going to finish all of our subs, and they're all going to be on injuries. Oh, my day saved there by Patricio. We're being peppered now. Oh, wow. Chiesa, Kamara stepping up, winning it. Fratesi on the ball. Abraham making the run. Fratesi finds Abraham. That's a very good ball from him. And Tammy Abraham, can he get away from the defender? Finds a slight ankle. That was the only way he was going to get the shot off. And he puts it wide. Hernandez there made the angle very tight for Abraham, to be fair. It's Pogba. To McKenny. Oh, just through this. Vlahovic and Vlahovic, bro, once again, just runs through our defense. And saved by Rui Patricio. Massive save. Massive, massive save. About 15 minutes left in the game. Here is Spinozola. Has not really done much in this game. Has not really gotten the chance to get forward in this game. Our wing backs have really been nullified. Just simply because we have been defending for most parts of the game. And of course when we, when we defend they have to come back. It's not been great lads. It really hasn't. Let's make some changes. We're going to take off Ratezi. We're going to bring on Dybala. Going to try to get that injection in the attack. The score is still there. You know, 1-1. The game is still there for us to win even with five minutes left. Dybala, we're not going to win it with you doing that though, bro. You are the freshest man on the field. Should bring that creativity. Especially on a counter for us to get a decisive pass. And it's cut all the way across. Just ran through our defense yet again. And Dusan Vlahovic makes it 2 1 in the 88th minute. And is that the winner? Juventus definitely think it is. And the Juventus fans definitely think it is. And with two minutes left, I can't really blame them. Vlahovic has been a problem. Kulisevsky has been a problem. Chiesa has been a problem. Bro, we have suffered defensively in this game. Another for Vlahovic and it's 2-1. And we're into the 89th minute. Paolo Dybala losing the ball. He really hasn't made the impact that we thought he would have made. In this game is Kovacic. Kovacic playing. Abraham in behind there. Tammy Abraham, will he do something? We will lay it off to Paulo Dybala. And Paulo Dybala will get the equalizer. Two minutes later, we're back in the game. Okay, okay. I should just shut up. Yeah, our body didn't make the impact we expected. There he is. There's Paulo against Juventus. Yet again, scoring. Yet again, 2-2. Good play from Abraham to spot the run. Perfect pass in behind there Dybala's movement is very good as well to get the defender on the wrong side of him and we equalize again one thing's for sure we're definitely not giving up here but can we go on and win it here is Mancini intercepting the ball and getting forward Gianluca Mancini just trying to put a ball in there I mean Mancini on the wing crossing it with his weaker foot is not really what you want to be seeing, but 2-2, two, two, we're still in the game, boys. And looking at the stats, <laughs> can it really get more even than that? Exact same possession, exact same number of shots, exact same XG. It's in the balance. It's in the balance, and going into extra time, we're hoping that the likes of Dybala, who really just came on in the final 15 minutes of the 90, will have the freshness to pull something out of the bag yet again that's some good pressing there effective pressing forcing them back and getting a corner it's Kovacic we're gonna we're gonna take it with Dybala an out swinging ball let's try that yeah try to swing it away from the keeper for him not to come for it well good idea and stuff but nobody got their head to it here's Dybala again and again 
They're getting just ahead there of Abraham. Is that onside? That is onside, and we lead. Where did that come from? Mateo Kovacic on the double gives us the lead for the first time in this game. Okay, we're gonna have to see this back. The ball. Well, it just fell to Kovacic, really. Headed on there by Bastard Camera or something. I'm not entirely sure what happened. We tried to put a ball in, it deflected, went in the air. Listen, that's very fortunate, but Kovacic was there to capitalize. And like we said for the first time in this game, we do lead. And there's Blachowicz. Oh. Another save from Patricio. And Mateo Kovacic playing further forward has proven to be very effective. That's good defending there from Timikas. Oh, handball. I thought it was. Penalty given. Can VAR bail us out? That's a bit harsh, but penalty is given and Vlahovic makes no mistake. Didn't even have the time to analyze what we just saw there, bro. Vlahovic already has the ball in the back of the net to make it a hat trick from himself and to make this 3 3. And the game keeps going on. Well, I was going to say the penalty there is a bit harsh because of the distance between the man and where the touch was taken. But it doesn't matter, VAR gives the penalty, Vlahovic puts away the penalty and it's half time in extra time and it's 3-3. Oh, okay, let's bring on Ramos. Ramos for Ebanez. Moving Mancini over to the right. Roger has played on long enough with that injury. Let's just not make it any worse! Oh, what a hit! Bloody hell, lads. <laughs> we are being violated right now! These stones are going for the throat, bro. I can't lie, but with them doing that, they have left themselves exposed. And Tammy Abraham is in behind and will give us the lead. After them hitting the post and possibly should have scored. <laughs> we go up the field the other end. And our number nine makes no mistake. Their number nine made a mistake, could not finish. Oh, the play there just to bring it onto his right foot just at the end there. And take the keeper out of the action just to create the angle at that near post. Very good smart play from Tammy Abraham. And we lead again. Now we lead 4-3. What a game this has been. But can we hold on this time, boys? We have brought on Ramos like you saw. We need that experience at the back. There's Mancini. Mancini and Ramos there. They just need to guide us now, boys. Mancini, the captain, in the absence of Cristante, will he be lifting the trophy? We are four minutes away from full time or four minutes away from possible penalties. Ramos clearing it. We can't get it out. We can't get out of our half. Here come Juve again. Intercepted there. Timikas under pressure. Does well. Kovacic does well and wins the foul. Good play from Mateo Kovacic. Running down the clock. A minute left until stoppage time. Timikas to Kamara. Kamara who's had a very good game, very good play there yet again under pressure. Looking for the ball out wide there. It's intercepted. This may be the last attack for Juve. It's now or never for them. It's Pogba. McKinney. Who's that overlapping run? They choose to go back. And because they chose to go back, that will be the game. And we have won the Super Cup in extraordinary circumstances. Going down twice to come back. Wow, bro, that goal by Vlahovic in the 88th minute. I definitely thought that was it, bro. <laughs> I definitely thought that was the game. But Paulo Dybala stepped up and rescued us. 
making it 2-2 in like the 91st minute. And from there, in extra time, I'd like to say we kicked on, but let me just say we just did enough, boys. Yeah, we just did enough in that extra time, taking the lead twice. Fortunate at times, them hitting the post, hitting the crossbar. Patricio making save after save. But in finals and big games, you need everybody to earn their wage. And that's what the boys did today. Not to mention an injury to... Who got injured? An injury to Zaniolo, an injury to Zalewski, an injury to Ibanez. Bloody hell, we're hoping those aren't going to be too serious. But for now, we enjoy our third piece of silverware. In about a season and a half at Roma, that's pretty good. If I say so myself. Europa League in the bag, Coppa Italia in the bag, another Super Cup in the bag. Will we add more trophies in the bag? Will we add perhaps another Coppa Italia? Will we add perhaps uh, Serie A? I don't know. Champions League? Ha! <laughs> Ambitious. But for now, let's enjoy it. Let's enjoy it, but we have to keep pushing on, bro. We are in January. This is not a cup at the end of the season. So this is, I guess, the difficulties of such a competition. You win it and you're in the middle of January and you have to play three days later, bro, you know? So it's like, uh, enjoy the day, yeah? But tomorrow we go again. Because like we have already mentioned, there is still a lot to work for and a lot to play for in this season. Mateo Kovacic. Mateo Kovacic started off as a number six and ended the game as a number 10 and was instrumental in both parts. So I could not have asked more from him. A brace as well in a final. Bloody hell, bro. Absolute 10 out of 10 performance from Mateo Kovacic for me. But now we have to see what the damage is. We have some offers here, whatever, but there are the injuries. A four-week injury, sprained knee injury for Zaniolo. Zalewski is only out for five days, which is good. But Ibanez is also out for four weeks. So we have a month without Zaniolo and without Roger Ibanez. On top of the injuries we already have. Fuck's sake, lads. Miles Vela, of course, we've signed Mamadashvili, so an offer here. We'll accept that. We will accept that. Hopefully, he can go out and just do his thing. Today was only one game because, of course, it was a final, but we will be taking off the next episode tomorrow against Genoa. Another trophy added to the trophy cabinet. Let me know what you think about the game as well. 4-3, absolutely insane game. Does that raise your expectations yet again for this season? We are... In an outside chance of a title race, we are through to the round of 16 in the Champions League. And we'll see how the rest of the season unfolds. If you don't want to miss how the rest of the season unfolds, do make sure that you have subscribed with the bell notification clicked not to miss any future videos. Do drop a like on the video as well if you have enjoyed it and be involved in the comments. For me, that's really the most important part. I've been Creature Crusher. I'll see you guys next time.